Hi guys, you're in Granny's house. Y'all come on in, get you something to drink, have a seat, have you a snack, just whatever. You know Granny's house is your house, so you might as well just come on in, prop your feet up. I've got a couple of friend mails that I am so thrilled. One is from Princess Kayla. Isn't that sweet? And <laughs> she's got a shark on the back. Thank you, Kayla. Happy Valentine's. Isn't that sweet? Love, Princess Kayla. If y'all don't know her, go check her out. She is Princess Kayla. And she is a doll. And she's good about sending out cards. The next, <coughs> Created with Jovi. And y'all see this envelope? It's made from calendar. I have received several of those. And this is a half of a doily. And it is just beautiful. And here is her card. It says February. And this is in the paper, it's all glittery. I don't know if you can see that. I'm holding it close. Maybe you will. But anyway, oh, it's like this. <coughs> I've enclosed this unfinished tag. I thought it would be fun to see how you would finish it if you would like to. Dear Granny, sending you lots of love and lots of hugs on Valentine Day. And she said, does that sound familiar? Lots of love. That sounds like any. Well, here's the tag. And I will finish it, Jovi. I may have shown these before, but they're so adorable. I just wanted to show them again. And especially since Valentine's is right around the corner, Okay, put those aside, and I wanted to remind y'all, Face Shares is coming up. The first two Sundays in February, that's February the 6th and the 13th. Now, that's not on a Friday, so don't worry, but that's February the 6th and the 13th, the first two Sundays, Face Share. With Sherry Jones and I, we had decided together, I had made a comment, and she answered, uh, I mean, she was the one that made the comment, <clears throat> and she says, I have a story to tell you. Well, I said, Sherry, let me give you my phone number, and you call me, and you tell me your story. Well, as it was, she texted me and gave me her phone number. Well, she told me the story, and it's one for her to tell on one of these Sundays because it is absolutely unbelievable. But it happened. And I have said before, I heard Kim say in one of her videos, Kim's Inspired Life, that her and her husband may get on there and tell how they met. So it's not just Bible reading or prayers, <clears throat> but it is about love and faith. And love is, to me, a lot of faith to stay married because you have to work together. I don't believe if you find two people that worship the devil are going to stay together. It's like that old saying, uh, families that pray together stay together. That's most of the time. That is true. I was listening at <clears throat> my favorite old I say, oh, they've been singing since 1965. They have retired, and now one of the daughters and her husband and son 
has taken it on the road, the McClammies. M-C-K-A-M-B-E-Y, something like that. I know it's M-C-K-A-M. I should have written that down. I get it wrong every time I say it, but I know that's how you start the name. But anyway, <clears throat> this is how the song goes. If your feet are tired from climbing those mountains, which means if you're tired of taking care of all those bills and all the stress, just look around because there comes Jesus right down the road. And before we get up to pray for our needs, God knows what our needs are before we pray, but he does want us to ask, ask once and leave it alone. And I guess I'm probably one of the worst people. I will say, I'm going to leave it in your hands, God. But then I want to kind of nudge you. I say that all the time, don't I? But it's true. It is absolutely true. And I know something else is true is I love the Lord. Amen. Let me tell you, whenever I die, honey, I know I'm going to heaven. There's no doubt in my mind because I'm taking step by step. I'm 78, and let me tell you, every step I take, the Lord's there to pull me on. <laughs> I'm going to cry, but I'm going to laugh, too, because there is nothing in the world like our Lord Jesus Christ, let me tell you. It's like the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Saying amen. I love you guys. I'm going to leave y'all with a lot of hugs and definitely love from my heart kids i love y'all very much and every time y'all stop by there's not a doubt i hope in your mind that i don't care because i do i care every time i read one of those comments and i do i read every one of my comments i go back for two weeks because sometimes it takes two weeks for us to get caught up hey i understand so I'll let y'all go. My goodness, it's eight minutes. I love you guys. Hope you have a most blessed week. Something good is going to happen to every one of us. Forget about the virus. Forget about all this stuff. Think about the Lord because the Lord is our Savior and he'll save us through all this.